know about those cute little Cabbage Patch kits, right? We've either owned them at one point or still do. But what about the one that used to eat kids' hair? You know, the Cabbage Patch Kids Snack Time Kid, where kids were apparently their snack too. Parents of a little girl even called 911 frantically because the doll wouldn't let go of her hair. They were known for eating fingers too. But don't worry, the little monsters were recalled. And you can't buy them anymore. Unless you get it from a third party, of course. Shh. Can you please turn it back on? It's making me, thank you, uncomfortable. <sighs> okay. In the name of Jesus, Satan ain't nobody scared of you. The blood of Jesus is against you. I plead the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. If you see this lady in your dream, you better listen to her warning. Lucy Morgan was a painter. She was staying in a small town for one week. The next day, she was going to head out to a new town called Kingston. That same night, Lucy has a nightmare about staying in a weird room and this pale lady with black eyes tells her, this place is evil, leave now. She wakes up that morning scared to go to Kingston and she tells her landlady and she recommends going to a different town called Dorset. Lucy agrees and when she gets to her new room, she notices it's the same one from her nightmare. Minutes later, there's a loud knock at the door. Lucy turns and standing there is the same pale lady from her dreams. Lucy grabs her bags and leaves as fast as she can. This is why you never trust a princess. Korean boy band Vic stopped for gas while they were touring in Kazakhstan, but they became worried when the bus suddenly sped off from the gas station. After driving a few miles, the bus suddenly pulled over and a young, well-dressed girl got on. The girl was introduced as the princess of Kazakhstan, but when the boys told their manager what happened, his face turned white. Kazakhstan has no princess. <laughs> Hey guys, Scott Brown here. I'm back for a new series of scariest urban legends in the southern states. Let's go. To start the series off, we're going to come from my home state of Mississippi, from Columbus, Mississippi, the story of the three-legged lady on Nash Road. Alright guys, so essentially the legend is, if you go to the start of Nash Road, turn your car off, and honk your horn three times, the three-legged lady will appear. She will knock on the roof of your car, which will initiate the race. You and her are supposed to race to the end of the road. She will bash your car, dent it, try to knock you off the road. And this bitch is fast. And if you don't make it to the end, well, you die and she takes your soul. So sorry, Trevor, the Duramax isn't going to help this time. Now, you guys are probably wondering why she has three legs. Well, the most commonly accepted thing is that she was a mother whose daughter was dismembered by a serial killer, and the only thing she could ever find was her daughter's leg, therefore being the only thing she has of her daughter. Honestly, I think she just has a big old fucking cock, but, you know, I think that's not really accepted. Listen to your elders, or you might end up meeting the Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is a forest witch from Russian lore. Depending on what mood she's in, she might try to help you, or she might try to eat you. A lot of children from Russia were going missing, so what the Russian parents did was make up the story of the Baba Yaga to scare their children from going too far from home. She was also used to teach good manners. If you disrespect her, then you might be in danger, but if you have a good heart, she will not hurt you. Now I love the John Wick movies, but Baba means old woman or grandmother, and Yaga means spooky or wicked, so John Wick's actual nickname is Spooky Grandma. If you like monsters, scary stories, and lore, please follow and like this channel. Thank you, guys. The guests just love my new punch recipe. So, when we ran out, I was happy to go get more. I wish I wasn't such a messy worker. 
Stories You Shouldn't Know About the Dark Web, part one. I did this series seven months ago, so if you remember that, you're an OG. But you guys have to blow up this video if you want a part two of this series. Today's story is known as Daisy Destruction. This has to be one of the most talked about topics of all time. Take a look at this man. This man is known as Peter Scully. I hate even saying his name because this man is a monster. Like he was so bad that the Philippines wanted to bring back the death penalty just to kill him. This man opened up a website known as No Limit Fun. It was a secret child you know what website on the deep web. He was making these videos and selling them to pedophiles all around the world. And the most famous one he sold is known as Daisy's Destruction. He sold this video for $10,000 a piece and what happened in this video will literally leave you shocked. The three victims were 12, 11, and 18 months old, all of them being females. It featured the 11 month old being hung upside down with a mask on her face. The other girls were told to dig their own grave while being assaulted. If you guys wanna see a part two, make sure to like and follow. This is why you never want to be a Korean pop star. In 2009, one of the biggest Korean pop stars was Taesyeon of 2PM. As a famous musician, Taesyeon was no stranger to love letters, but nothing could prepare him for what he was about to receive. A woman sent Taesyeon a love letter using her period blood as ink. The girl who fell down the well. When my wife was six years old, she fell down a well. She wasn't able to climb out, and when she realized she was stuck down there, she started to cry. Then, she heard a girl's voice coming from above her. The voice told her not to worry, and told her there are some stones jutting out of the walls of the well so she could grab a hold of them and climb out. She did as the voice told her and managed to get out of the well. When she got to the top, she looked around, but there was nobody there. Creeped out, she ran all the way home. When her mother asked her what was wrong, she told her about what happened. Her mother told her that many years ago, a little girl had fallen down the very same well and drowned. This is why you should always be aware of your surroundings. One day a little girl was playing in a room until she heard her mom call her down the stairs. While she was going downstairs, her mom was screaming to get to her room immediately. On her way to her mom's room, she went by the pantry door where an arm came out of nowhere and grabbed her inside. Inside the closet, it was her mom covering her mouth and she simply said, It wasn't me calling for you. This is why you should never talk to strangers. According to Japanese legend, Kuchisake Ona was once a beautiful woman who cheated on her husband. When her husband found out about it, he became full of rage and sliced the corners of her mouth from ear to ear. After she died, she came back as a vengeful spirit who covers her scars with a surgical mask so she looks entirely normal otherwise. She usually wanders the streets at night with a large pair of scissors or a knife. If you're unlucky enough to be chosen as her victim, she will ask you, am I pretty? If you answer no, she will cut you in half. If you say yes, she will cut your mouth from ear to ear just like her too. But you can survive her by answering her question with something else like, maybe, I don't know, am I pretty? You can also buy some time by throwing money or hard candies at her, which she will stop to pick up. But others say that if she's chosen you, she will show up to your bedroom and kill you in your sleep. So remember, especially since everyone is wearing a mask nowadays, be careful who you talk to. Scary Stories That Will Not Let You Sleep, Part 1 In 2008, a 4chan user spread a JPEG image titled smile.jpg. The photo displayed a creepy dog with a human-like smile staring at the soul of the user. To make things worse, there was a red hand in the background that they claim is the devil himself trying to drag you to hell. Behind me is the original image of smile.jpg. There are reports that the original users that saw the photo reportedly died soon thereafter of unknown causes. If the users didn't die to some mysterious cause, they would go insane and completely lose their mind. A user by the name of Mary E. Mary reportedly went completely insane and discredited an entire interview about Smile JPEG. Death will come for us all, but could Smile JPEG bring it sooner? Be sure to like, comment, and share the video with your friends so you're not the only one that's unable to sleep tonight. Plus, apparently if you share it, they say that it won't kill you in your sleep.